talking about life cycle of stars i said there is uh, there is a, a cloud which is called as the nebula the nebula undergoes accretion and it becomes a star and the star can be an average star or regular star the average regular star ultimately can die off it can become a red giant okay a red giant not much of uh, you know uh, issues there there are certain massive stars these massive stars these massive stars uh, they convert into okay two possible things they become a uh, massive red giant okay and uh, ultimately they can become what's called as the neutron star or they can become a black hole uh, in fact uh, in dono mein bahut zyada difference nahi i explain uh, six seven terms okay about how you can differentiate this before this i must tell you some concepts more now aap sun lo pehle uh, then i will give you some notes there is a concept called as uh, tde uh, tde is uh, tidal uh, disruptive events okay Uh, in space uh, uh, sciences and in uh, astronomy whenever you use the or you hear the word tidal the tidal means gravitational remember this whenever you hear this term tidal tidal is about gravity okay earth tidal pull okay tidal waves uh, tidal disruptions they all are related to gravity okay uh, yesterday i explain what is a black hole so black hole essentially is a dead star okay a dead star so what do i mean by dead star uh, a star i said uh, is it, it has uh, uh, you know a fusion reactions going on uh, where hydrogen is rapidly converting into helium okay and there are other elements also Uh, carbon bhi hoga rn bhi hoga lot of other elements are there so when the hydrogen to helium uh, fusion reaction is over okay it is become it becomes a dead one okay so a dead star and it has very high gravity a dead star is not a star that has disintegrated nahi a dead star is like you know i have a, a ball which is very hot it, it is burning and the ball becomes cold and the ball ultimately becomes reddish and finally it dies down but it remains a ball the mass is still there aisa nahi hai ki the black hole will will dissing and explode aisa nahi hota hai so when i say a black hole it is a dead star very high gravity because because it has very high amount of mass okay lot of mass is there and this high gravity also absorbs it absorbs light light cannot escape the black hole and that's the reason why you cannot see it okay you can see only if i if something uh, is emitting light or if light goes and reflects from there or black hole mein dono nahi ho raha hai okay the star has no fusion reaction there is no light getting emitted number 2 if you put a light the light does not reflect back either so a black hole is a massive mass that absorbs light okay but because it has massive mass and very high gravity it can attract it can attract attract anything anything may it can consume entire stars it can consume entire solar systems ye pura kha jayega and remember at the center of the galaxies there is generally a very powerful black hole whenever you have a galaxy okay the, something here is keeping everything together okay there are millions and millions of solar systems here okay there are lot of stars here so what is holding it together so at the center of galaxies there is always a massive black hole okay we call this as smbh a super massive black hole मिल्की वे के सेंटर में एक ब्लैक होल है सैजिटेरियस एवरी गैलेक्सी 
uh, worth its uh, size and worth its significance has a black hole. It's a very powerful one called as super massive black holes. So what happens is, so what happens is, there is a super massive black hole, a very large black hole. And once in a while, near the black hole, there is some star which is coming nearby. When the star comes nearby, the star gets pulled into it. While getting pulled into it, the star kind of shreds, or cuts out, toots out, dissing it hota hai. And those small, small pieces will get pulled into this. They pulled into this. So all of this creates a lot of energy. Like it creates a lot of light streaks. Okay, it's like, you know, uh, it's, it's like, you know, uh, say, say something is a very powerful uh, attracting body here. Something is nearby. It gets pulled. It breaks up. It kind of explodes, you can say, and ultimately collapses here. So either the explosion and collapse into the black hole okay, is a very powerful event. It's like the star is, is, is the breaking up of star, your tuta star, it is called as okay, uh, spaghetti. Uh, uh, spaghettification. You know what is spaghetti? Kya hota hai? Noodles. Okay, something is there. Usko apne kaat ke lamba lamba noodles bana diya. Think of that. So this star gets pulled in, it gets totally destroyed, and a streak of light, it ultimately dies off and falls into this. So this event hai, it's a very powerful event. And uh, like I said, no, you cannot see a black hole. But if I can see a streak of light like this, it tells me there is a black hole. So this, this massive event is called as the TDE, Tidal Disruptive Events. And these events help us identify the massive black holes. Or is mein na sara gravity waves bhi ultimately. So recently we have discovered quite a few TDEs. In both rare events hote hain, when you can actually see it and record it. I hope you got the idea what is a TDE now. It was in news discovered recently. Uh, it's not a very common thing. Okay, you can... You know, it, it happens once in God knows how many years it happens. But if you can uh, 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 say observe it, okay, you can know where the black hole is. Yes, Naveen, it has been seen. Okay, I'll give you some of the names also. Okay, do you understand the idea or not? What is a black hole? What is a, a TDE? Achha, now, a core point. Uh, don't write right now. I'll give you the notes. Okay, Spatific spaghettification is essentially, okay, uh, 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 it's like shredding. You know what is shredding? Something any cut is shredding. Imagine you have a, a cutter, okay, and, uh, and something is falling on the cutter, this ultimately breaks into long, long streaks as a cut jayega. So spaghettification is type of a disintegration of a star when it starts approaching a massive black hole, a super massive black hole. Okay, now, now one point. Second point, now look at this. There are black holes, okay, which are even powerful than this. Okay, supermassive black hole, they can be sometimes 20, 30 million times powerful some of, than some of the other black holes. In that case, what happens, uh, rather than a star, entire galaxy can collapse inside this. You can you imagine here? Okay, ek to hai ki, a black hole hai, black hole mein, it doesn't show any data. Black hole is there, can't see, uh, and uh, you know that it was a star once upon a time. How do I know there's a black hole? Once in a while, a star comes near and collapses inside it. And there's a streak of light. Sudden flash of light ho gaya, ho khadam ho gaya. Okay? The second is, rather than one star, think of an entire galaxy. The entire galaxy is getting eaten by a supermassive black hole. In this case, there will be no streak of light, but there will be continuous bright light emitting. It's like, you know, uh, it's like one is a, a spark of a matchstick, or a pura wood jal hai bar bar. So when a galaxy is collapsing inside this, there's a continuous burning going on. And it's a very, very, very bright light. That is what is called as a quasar. It terms on
quasars they are very rare events and they are very very far away quasars are quasi stellar stellar radio sources to so, jahan par quasar quasars hain the entire galaxy is getting destroyed there okay so these things are all related okay the life of a star uh, what is a black hole okay what is a tidal disruptive event and what is a quasar okay they all are linked to one another black hole i said you really cannot see as easily but they are the ones that ultimately consume okay the star solar systems sometimes we can identify them when there is a brilliant flash flash of light and a star is getting disintegrated ye dikhai deta hai and quasar is a very very bright object it is essentially a super massive black hole that is a uh, consuming an entire galaxy that is consuming an entire galaxy some of these things have been observed by uh, james webb space telescope okay jw st has observed some of uh, uh, these events and that's how i know okay that uh, uh, we can Uh, discover the origins about uh, our uh, solar system much better once we decode some of these theek hai so i'm going to give you all of you here